Oh, what is this in? All right, so we we are continuing our epic journey in the world of consumer arithmetic. We are doing depreciation today. Some really fun stuff. This question came in January 2019. So John bought a car for sixty-five thousand dollars. This is this is this is what we call the principal. Uh, the value of the car depreciates eight percent. So this is what we can call the interest. And our time of depreciation. This is our time here, the period. Um, but you can work it out, as I said, year by year. So I can be like, after the first year, the value of the car will be eight percent less than the principal value. Eight percent less indicates that the value of the car would be equal to one hundred minus 8%, which is 92 over 100. You can put 0.92, agree with me? 0.92 stands for 92%. So 0.92 times 65,000 equal to 59,800. After the second year, the value of the car will go down an additional 8%. So it will mean you'll get 0.92 of the next value here. So this is the short way to work out this. I mean, I'm gonna show you the extra short way. 0.92 of this $55,016. So that's one way to do it. So method one. So let's try another method to solve this question. You could use the formula. Amount is equal to P, open brackets, 1 plus R over 100. N. Now this this is if this is for appreciation, meaning if the value of something is going up or compound interest, this, this is how the formula looks because you notice here is in a positive sign right you know appreciation could be things like land or investment or a relationship hopefully but depreciation would be like in this case a car depreciating in value so you'll have amount actually being equated to p by one minus this rate that you're decreasing by each year and this is this is the formula that we use depreciation so we get a little nice little lesson here you can activate this formula whip it out your hat you need to have it memorized i don't believe this is given in the formula sheet at the start so let me just get rid of this one this is the guy we want because we actually depreciating right now so depreciating so substituting in this formula the principle is 65,000, as we established before one minus eight over 100 and it's for a period of two years this R here tells me how many times it's compounded since it's per annum. It tells me the period it's compounded and this, this N here is how many of those periods we have. So in CXC you normally get years. I don't think you'll see biannually or that kind of me. All right. Yeah. So let we go. So this straight up into our calculator, we get the same $55,016. There was nothing seen here to the nearest thousand or anything like that. So we are safe with that answer. So you can use this method or you can use this method. This method is sometimes easier to understand and um, using this method in CX is nice when you have just two or three years. In this method, if you just memorize a formula and they bring a little trick, like sometimes people don't realize what we are working out here is the amount. And sometimes they ask you different things like how much um, did it depreciate by? In this case, they ask us how much will the car be worth, which is the amount. But how much would it lose in value means that you need to do a little subtraction in the end. So keep your mind open with this method. Don't, don't stumble. Don't stumble. All right. Let's finish off today's class by looking at the last part of question one in January 2019, paper two. The last part of question one is a percentages question. So percentages is something that they try to bring at all times, even if they bring in some kind of consumer arithmetic, they try to bring in some percentage, some kind of percentage something. In this case, we had a lot of wrong answers being people adding up these numbers and these numbers are not to add up. We are asked to determine their final percentage. 55% of this, 60% of that, 80% of that, would give us the individual marks that they scored. When we add up those marks, we can put it over 100, multiply. Actually, since it's out of 100, we can just assume that that's, that's the percentage. So let's find 55% of 30. You can just say 0 0.55 or 0 0.6 or 0 0.8, which is 55 over 100, right? So we can say the mark obtained here, we, we have our own column. Because, you know, we use column bosses here. The mark obtained, and try to make your column straight now like mine. Mark obtained, 55%. I am getting, oh, I'm getting a point. 
I get in 16.5. And then I'll say 0 0.6 of 50. And I'm getting to see here. That makes sense. And then I'll say 0 0.8 of 20. And that's 16. That also makes sense. So now when I add up all of these marks together, I'll get 62.5. So this means since the maximum mark is 100, then as a percentage, the final mark, final percentage of student, well, is actually the same 62.5%. All right, so that's it for now. If you want to join any one of our classes, you can just use this number here, 784 one night we have classes in nearly all c second keep subjects you can follow us on instagram on youtube on facebook um you can join the student hub discord channel for free and get all ac access to past papers everything marathon is not starting yet my crash courses my paid crash courses start at the ending of this month love and blessings <laughs>